So the first thing we want to do in installing our read-only domain controller, or RODC, is take a quick look to see which OU our server is currently in. So just use a quick get ad computer to search techsnips.local, and there we go, we can see it's in the computer's container. Okay, let's enter into a remote PowerShell session with prod RODC, so we can continue our install. And now let's do a quick get computer info. We're going to check for the domain, and more importantly, the domain role of this server. As you can see, we're in the, still in the techsnips.local domain, but our domain role is of member server. All right, let's move on. We'll use the install Windows feature commandlet to add the AD domain services role, and we're obviously going to include all the sub-features and the management tools. And there we go, our installation was successful and no restart is required. Now our next step will be to use the install ADDS domain controller commandlet. Use the domain name techsnips local, we're going to install DNS, and most importantly is the read-only replica. It needs to be set to true, and that's what makes this a read-only domain controller. Use the site name default for site name, and because we're in a remote PowerShell session, we do need to explicitly provide the credentials for this installation. So we'll add the administrator password in here. We need to add the safe mode admin password. And confirm it. And we'll click yes, we do want to continue with this operation. So we'll run that and give it a couple of minutes to finish all its work. And there we go. The installation of the RODC completed successfully. And even though it says reboot is not required, it is actually rebooting in the background. So we're going to just take a quick break here for a couple of minutes and wait for that to reboot. Okay, now that we're back from our reboot, we'll need to re-enter into our remote PowerShell session. And there we go. And we'll do another check of our domain and our domain role. Yep, still in techsnips.local, but our role is now backup domain controller. It's a bit of a throwback to the Windows NT4 days, where we had primary and backup domain controllers, and the backup domain controllers were read-only replicas. So, now that we've confirmed that our installation was successful there, let's just exit out of our PowerShell session, and we'll quickly check to see what our OU location for this prod or ODC computer account is now. And there, as you can see, ProdRODC is now in Domain Controllers, indicating that our installation was successful. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.